And Look, all of them, all, you all of them in Lagos, Let me all of you. them in Nigeria. Listen to me. Nobody when I'm talking, no. you keep quiet. An arrogant customer who is not ashamed. Pastor Donald, why are you not picking my calls? Why haven't you paid the, the balance up till now? Telling the Honorable Court that I have not been calling him, I have not been picking his call. It's a fabricated fallacy. He did this just to debase me. You are only, and you are the one that is being arrogant at the same time. A Nollywood veteran hopes to diversify into marine transportation. Passenger boat, I did not see. My money, I did not see. I wanted to report him to Amadiona. He was testing the boats, wanting to want in the boat sink with engine. The husband does not like the responsibilities, but he likes all the pleasures a woman has to offer. I still the lip now. First, the lip person will bump it. And you go control. The dispute is real, and the judgment is binding. This is the Justice Court. Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Obareke Mildred, is asking the court to compel her mom's tenant, Moses Dominic, to vacate her apartment. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaulu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Obareke Mildred and Moses Dominic. Parties for on oath. Obareke, you are the one that brought the defendant to court. The claim is owing you 240,000 naira. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to me what's going on? Okay, they've been, he has been in my mom's property for... He has been? He has been in the property for about three, four years. What kind of apartments? It's a room and parlor self-contained. He okay. pays 100,000 yearly. He was paying 70 before, then it was increased to 100,000 in Yanopaja. But um, he's been owing for about two years. He claims that he is not owing up to. However, I and my family, we don't even need the money anymore. All we want right now is for him to leave. We've given him a quick notice since November, and this is end of, almost end of July. He even went to the police station to write um, an undertaking that he's going to leave under two to three months. If he doesn't leave, that we should take any legal action. But till now, he hasn't. And I saw the undertaking. Okay. So, can but, you explain uh, to me? Uh, that is not true. Okay. So, what really happened it was last year. I never knew her before. That was when I met, she came to the house to the compound. So she was not the one that put me there. So there was a lawyer that has a caretaker that it put a... caretaker there okay. that put me there. So when I entered there, I paid for two years. So I was maybe before that two years expire, I will move to my own house. So along the line, when did you move in? I entered there 2010, not as she said. Okay. So, July 2010, that is when I entered here. So, I owe her a rent of just a year. That was 2020, that COVID-19. So, before I, I traveled to Edo to, for my father-in-law burial, so they invited me to meet them at their office at uh, this thing um, in Ikorodu. So I went there. Where is the property? Ikbaja. Ikbaja. Okay. Yeah. So I went there. So I met the lawyer. He said that uh, because when she told me that I should quit, she gave me a week to quit. I now told her, I said, now in the situation of things, get a CB. So it should give me grace that when I come back. So when I came back from that barrier that was, on, I mean, before I traveled on March this year, I paid more than half of what I owed them. Yes, so when I came back, so they were, her sister is there. She's aware of everything. That is my landlady sister. She's there. So I now ask her, I said, okay, she will help me and talk to my landlady because she's not a bad person. 
I have never faced this kind of situation before. Even police, as she said, they went all the way to arrest me. So this thing happened. I'm not the only tenant there, but I'm the oldest tenant there. So it gave for itself was the only tenant there. But yes, the, but I'm the only tenant there. I'm know. the oldest. The oldest. Okay, yes, I tenant there. Okay. So she served for us, not only me. So when she invited me, I went there. Even as I'm here now, I'm the only one that came here. Even the dead police came to arrest me, only me. I bear myself. I, only, I said, okay, when mama, that uh, her sister, she said that you already talked to my landlady. He said, okay, I should continue with the repayment. The one I paid, so I was supposed to balance them 50,000. So that money is supposed to expire this month. Are you getting me? If so, you pay that 50,000. Yes, if I balance them because I already yeah. pay half of it. Supposing they. Let's say you have paid up. Yes. Then it will expire, expire this month. It will this month. So, okay. So, I, Mama said, okay, that you already talked to her sister. She said, I should go ahead. So, I, I raised the money to send to the lawyer. I said, cannot, she cannot take the money. I should move out of the compound. This, that. I said, okay, but. My landlady already giving me hope. I relax. That was the only issue there. So as this, uh, okay, is, as she said, some other people, they owe three years, two years. Okay, compare two years and three years to a year, and I pay out of. You know what? All these people you are mentioning, I don't know them. They didn't bring their case before me. Okay. So just face your own matter. Okay. So I wanted her to give me, I mean, let me complete that payment so that she should give me grace from now till December. Before then, I may find my way. That is the only thing. You know, she brought me here. So. Moses claims to be the oldest tenant in the compound. His initial plan was to reside in the apartment for two years and move into his own house thereafter. But now, he has resided for more than a decade in the apartment. The plaintiff says that Moses has been pleading for more time to quit. Now, the family wants him out of the apartment so desperately to the point that they are willing to forego the rent he owes. Judge Fumi wades into this matter. You know the issue right now is I know you are owing part of the rent. You said so. Yes. You are willing to even pay. But they are not ready to accept. Yes. They want you to leave the premises. So what I'd like you to do, because everything seems very straightforward. So what I want to do is just tell me when, you, first of all, you refer to the issue of lawyer and not knowing her. I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to know that they can't come here to represent the landlord unless the landlord tells them to come and represent her or him, woman, yes. your mom. Do you understand what I'm yep. saying? So whoever is relating with you from their end, either the lawyer or the sister or herself, they probably have a consent. That's why they approached you. Because she made a statement that even right now, they don't even want you to pay. Yeah. They just want possession of the premises. So let me know when you want to move. Now was... you are not paying. Huh? Now you are not paying. Yeah. They are not taking money from you. You already take half of the money. Yes, but you've used that portion. Haven't you spent the time in the house? He paid yeah. last in 2019. So I, mean, I don't know. No, just leave that about. conflict. Okay. There is no, so, since you are not ready to take money. There's no need for us to start delving into well, the last time he paid or when, you know, let's let that just go. What we're talking about now is when to move out, which is the claim, your main claim right now. Nothing else. December, ma. What? December. December. Is that acceptable to you? No, ma. You said it's, it's not acceptable. November. As much as I know they need to give you time to move, but I also know if you are not paying. Okay, because you know the situation of Things now. I'm only talking this because based on when I have, I will have that money because for yeah, now. I'm not collecting money. I'm, uh, yes, I'm, I'm talking about where to move to because my property is there. So if she said that she, she, she will not give me up to that 
time that I, I asked for. So, and, and I don't have anybody or way to loan money, but I know before that December, Comfort, luxury, style, class, tranquility, and nature. The ideal home for today's game changers has all these and more. Looking for more? Then look no further than Master's Villa. An ultra-modern luxury estate nestled in the very heart of the Lekki Peninsula. The avant-garde architectural styles of our homes and villas reflects a lifestyle that is both exclusive and intuitive. So, are you looking for more? Then look no further than Pazino Homes and Gardens. Call us today on these numbers. Pazino Homes and Gardens, your choice today. Let me say have you issued notice to This is what, yeah, that was what he when, said. When, when, did you, when, 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 were, when did you issue the notice? November 23rd. December? November last year. November last year. You were issued notice to quit? Yeah. Last year. They yeah. gave you notice? Yes, yes. No, so you no. know why I'm saying that? So that means since last year, you knew that they want to take possession of that property. It's not as if they just woke up yesterday or last week to tell you. Yes, madam. So for you to now tell me, no, let me, let me explain where I'm okay. coming from. You see, it's a different thing. If as you are standing here, you are telling me that, oh, two weeks ago or three weeks ago, that's when they served me notice to quit. All this while, I thought I was just going to pay the balance for the rest of the tenancy for this year. Do you understand? That way, I'll tell them they should wait till December. Okay, because ma. you need time okay, to ma. look for some other ma. place and everything. Ma. Let me Let finish. Me. Okay. Don't, don't, don't interrupt me again. Okay. I'm trying to explain something to you. Because you need to understand where I'm coming from. But if you were given notice last year in November, already you know that they want to take possession. And I expect that from since that November, you would have started looking for the balance Okay, okay, can right. I come in there, please? Please. Okay. Uh, they give me that notice, that uh, November, I mean... Uh, November last year. Yes, last year. So, this year, March, I make payment. That payment, I didn't been there, don't it's want the me same to No, stay, they will collect. Let me tell you, a lot of people that make that mistake, you think that if... A tenant, a landlord evicts you from a house and you are owing at the time you vacate the premises. The landlord does not have the right to collect the money again. If you move to any other place, five years, four years after, if they discover where you are staying, once there is a court judgment, all they have to do is go back and re-register that judgment at the courts and bring police and court bailiff, the sheriff. They'll come and pack everything you have again to the court premises. They will sell it to offset the, the money you are owing. Do you understand what I'm understand. saying? understand. That's why I always tell tenants, if you are living in the premises, and the minute you realize you cannot afford, do you understand, to conveniently pay your rent, it's always better for you to start looking for a cheaper place. Do you understand? Because understand. for every day, areas of rent is always there. For every day you spend in that house, the law mandates you to pay for it. You see me, I don't like problems as you see me. I, I never experienced even police station. No, you are I, I, I've okay. never been in police station because of case or whatever. So this is the first time. So I was, I said, okay, that she should, okay, let her give me four months. If I How refuse to, four, if I refuse to pack out the, from now till that November. Time. Yes. Give him till November. Give him two months because that was what I and my family. When he begged for all those months, it was the same begging. So he has begged for the months before. When? He has begged for three. On the undertaking, we, were, we said we we're going to give him one month. 
He begged and begged and begged for three months, and we gave him. And he wrote there that we should take illegal. Um, you heard uh, that? That's why we are here. You know, I have the document before me. I can read it out station. to you. They didn't I raise a gun for station. you to write it, and you begged. You and they came there still, with drive. I'll still, I'll still come back to the issue of the police station. Mm -hmm. I just want us to re resolve the issue of the eviction first. I'll still come back to the issue of the of the agreements or undertaking being taken at the police station in respect of a tenancy matter. I'll come back to that. So is he, well now, initially, I think you were asking for five months. Now he has come to four, and she's still saying it's not acceptable. So I'll come in to suggest three months. By yes, saying three months, know. she has the right to say seven days. That's all what the law says now. Once you have that first one, the next one is just seven days notice. You do understand? understand. Just seven days notice now. So that's why I said the two of you need to We've agree. We've actually been through this like three, four times. That's why I'm insisting. I'll, I'll go with your three months because we are here now. But uh, is this, uh, uh, that, three, that three months, is, that is the time I will have this money to quit. That is why I ask her. It's okay. Yeah, is that three months? So you still have up to 31st of October. You can start looking for a house now. You know the way it is. You when the in... money comes, I'm, I'm talking you... about the money because I know what You are I'm... getting the money in October. Is that not what you said? You said you get that money by October ending. I'm asking you. Is that not what you just said? It's not a business where you get money or you don't get I money. Know. Let me tell you. Because you seem to have that self-entitlement mentality. I need to correct that. It's not a problem where you get your money from. What the law says is like, you live in a house, you pay the rent. If you can't pay the rent, then you move out. I know. And there's no law that says a tenant can stay in a landlord's house till any time they like without paying. That's why the law is there, to evict you. I know, ma'am. So if they are not even coming around to tell you, don't pay. It's just a privilege. It's not a right you have. They have given that to you. So why are you finding it difficult to vacate their premises? I don't understand. Yes, ma. I know you are for everybody. You are for me too. For all of us. Yeah. <laughs> so, Adamant. so please. Adamant. All of them. That's why I said three months. And they're not ready to go beyond three months. And I personally believe that three months is reasonable. So that is it. Unless you can convince her. I'll give you a few minutes to talk to her. We can convince her to give you four months. Well, Your wife cried that day at the police station. Nailed down, begged, please, after three months, the, I promise we will yes, leave. But and today we are here. For now, I'm Painful here. Now, at here. least I'm here. You know, after I'm, this I'm, place... You then see, you what she's trying to sorry, tell you off. is that your credibility... Zero. Raised to power zero. And she's proving it to you. And I have it on record here too. Because you signed it. And she's saying this the same way. They pitied you. So you don't have a way of keeping to your they words. You are not a man. My mom's softness. They, they came not on a, the last day to me. Don't interrupt me. House. Just keep I'm quiet. I'm so sorry, ma. Do you understand? I understand? So that is the problem. This is not the first time. Ma, I'm at, at the court now. You were at the police station the last time. That, yes, that day. And you did not keep to your word. That day they came in with... You, did, you, you were at the police station. You did not, you signed, you did not keep to your word. You are in the court now. Yes. Whatever I agree word. here is what... You know what I want to do? I would like you to make a phone call to your mom. I don't really think one month should make so much difference. So I'd like you to step out, make a call, and let me know. I'll do that. You can't go ahead right now. Right away, yes. We'll wait for you. Okay. Go ahead. What's that? She's fine with it. Pardon? She's fine with it, but she said he has to keep to it. Uh, okay. Because she's not too strong. So four months time. Yeah. That's thank acceptable. You, yes. All right. No, you should say thank you to her. Not <laughs> thank me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now you have a smile on your face. Yes. <laughs> okay. So now, um, 
I want to come back to the issue of the police that we refer to. Can you narrate to me how you ended up at the police station now? I turned out that he had to sign an undertaking at the police station. Okay, what happened was um, November... Are you conversant with the facts of what transpired that day? Yes, yes, I was All there. Right. I was okay. first, I was there. Okay, um, you want me to tell you just on that day what happened? Just that day, okay. how you ended up at the police I station? I called, we've been trying to reach them, the whole of them that we gave, but they've not been answering the call. Um, he would just call the lawyer and tell him, you push, you give me time, you push, you give me time. And sometimes he won't even pick it. He actually went to the lawyer and begged that after two months he will leave. Then he signed and said he will leave. So I, I got frustrated. I traveled, I came back. Then my mom was sick and she just said, you know what, just please help me get my property back. And I'm like, okay, fine, no problem. Then the lawyer said, I think then the... Um, Judiciary was having some break or something or strike. I remember. So I, I had to go to the police station and I was like, these people are not answering me. This is then they said this case is not their case. It's actually they were told you were told yes, that at the police station. Told, yes. This is purely a civil matter. Mm. And, and just, for you to have gone to the police station in the first place is a very wrong move. Okay. Over tenancy matter. It's not a criminal case. Because this particular undertaking, I'm going to set it aside. Okay, no problem. It's going to be, the record is going to be, you never ever signed any undertaking to move out there. It's a wrong move. And if you keep doing that with your tenants, you'll run into problem one day. I can assure you. Okay. He's lucky. He didn't come here to say he was beaten or manhandled. You would have been in trouble. Okay. Don't ever try it again. Okay, ma, I won't. So you move out. Thank you, ma. Three months time is thirty three by thirty first of November. Four months time, yeah. sorry. You're not going to pay. You vacate the premises. Leave it in a good state. It's a small world. You don't know where you need to go. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, Judge Fumi rules. So. Comfort, luxury, style, class, tranquility, and nature. The ideal home for today's game changers has all these and more. Looking for more? Then look no further than Master's Villa. An ultra-modern luxury estate nestled in the very heart of the Lekki Peninsula. The avant-garde architectural styles of our homes and villas reflects a lifestyle that is both exclusive and intuitive. So, are you looking for more? Then look no further then Pazino Homes and Gardens. Call us today on these numbers. Pazino Homes and Gardens, your choice today. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you. All right. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case. No. All of them. All, you all of them in Lagos. Let me all of you. them in Nigeria. Listen to me. Nobody. When I'm talking, no. you keep quiet. An arrogant customer who is not ashamed. Pastor Donald, why are you not picking my calls? Why haven't you paid the, the balance up till now? Telling the Honorable Court that I have not been calling him, I've not been picking his call. It's a fabricated fallacy. He did this just to debase me. You are only, and you are the one that is being arrogant at the same time. A Nollywood veteran hopes to diversify into marine transportation. Passenger boat, I did not see. My money, I did not see. I wanted to report in Tamadiona. 
he was testing the boats, one thing do one thing, the boat sink with engine. The husband does not like the responsibilities, but he likes all the pleasures a woman has to offer. I still the lip now. First, lip person go one picking. And you go control. The dispute is real, and the judgment is binding. This is the justice court.